and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube. Uh, for a new deck, we got Shiraza Dragon. This is an aggro donation deck that was a viewer submitted. Uh, basically, what we got going on here is we have a pretty aggressive Noxus Ionia deck. Um, as you can tell, you know, like just with, with some nice early drops in here, we have like Zed, which of course is a really good uh, three mana aggressive champion champion and then our top end sorry we have shiraz of the blade and horns of the dragon two different double attack cards uh, well horns of the dragon has double attack shiraz just deals damage double damage to the nexus man can't can't talk so we're gonna hopefully try to hit our opponent with these cards to finish them out real quickly and we have a lot of different uh neat ways to be able to do that all right, so one way is with Overwhelm. You can see we have all these Cat of the Arms that can support and give them Overwhelm. Um, we also have like Might that gives them Overwhelm. Um, that doesn't give them Overwhelm, but those are those are two ways to give uh, Overwhelm. And then we can give them Elusive with Surprise Ghost. Which, this is a card that I think is going to be pretty awesome for us. I think this, this could do a lot of damage. Even having like <clears throat> Ghost plus like Zed could be really good. Um, yeah, I like this card. We got a couple of those in there. And then I love that we have a Stand United in here. Talk about an awesome trick here. They can even block our, you know, Shirazo or Horns of the Dragon. And then, boom, Stand United swaps, swap places with something they didn't block. And then have that get through. That that could be a really cool little trick, too. So, yeah, it looks like a, looks like a, a nice deck. Lots of tricks, lots of ways to get damage in. And we're just going to be racing. You know, that that's what we're going to be doing here. All right, so with this this is our first of two meme tier Monday decks with our uh, double attackers. We're we're just gonna be playing some normal games. That's what we that's what we do with our meme tier Monday decks. We're just gonna be playing five games of normal and uh, doing our best. That's what we're gonna do with our next two decks. Uh, let's see. On the region leveling, there's a section for the R rising tide. Pieces. Do we know if those will stay active when the next expansion drops? I would I would assume they would still stay active when the next expansion drops. That would be my assumption. Um, and then they would add that they would add in a longer one for uh, the new set, the next expansion. That'd be my assumption. Not always right. This looks like a pretty decent hand. Got our one drop, got our two drop, and then we got two different good options for turn three. No one's the wiser. Well, unfortunately, Legion Saboteur does not match up well against Apple Aristocrat. I'll try anyone you want. Sorry, dogs barking. <laughs> RV. Nobody outside. You don't need to bark. Delicious. So, Hecarim Karma. Usually with Karma you'd see like Thresh. We got Hecarim. Got ephemerals with karma. I am the blade in the darkness. I think I'm gonna go straight to combat this next turn. Yeah, we could have harrowing. They should go block here, block here. Just leave me alone! You have to get me out of here. Hmm. We're gonna go transfusion. Is it even worth transfusion? Like basically I could save Legion Saboteur. Actually, I'm not going to. I think. I think Transfusion is going to be more valuable than Legion Saboteur. Oh, 
Alright, so they're at 12. Ooh. Well, we could be attacking for a lot of damage next turn. Oh no. Well, they're going to be gaining their life back. Possible? Okay, good, it went through. I was gonna say, it's possible that I just shouldn't block it all just to make sure it goes through so they couldn't have death mark. Oh, love having a deny. Unfortunately, level level one Zed, it doesn't give doesn't give the things to this. Does fifteen? They're at fifteen. That'll do. My skill is I guess I should have had Zed at last. Should have had all these things before Zed, but perfect. And we had deny a backup. GG's. Yeah, I should have had, I should have had Zed last. No, we're doing we're doing five games with our last two decks. The first two we went through gauntlets, and we just ended the gauntlet at two and two. You know, like we, you know, they could have been. Could have been like yesterday we had what like a, a seven and six gauntlet or a six and five gauntlet i guess it was could have been 11 games it just ended up being four with those gauntlets yeah so yeah could have been a lot yeah we went six five seven one so we played 11 and eight Today we weren't as lucky. We only played four and four with our two gauntlet decks. But a lot of good games though. Play Shadow Assassin. Ooh. That's not bad. We can give Arena Battlecaster elusive so they can't block that thing. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we don't need to do that. I don't know. I don't I don't love that attack. I mean, they still just block everything else. All right, well, I can save it with Elixir of Wrath. So let's say let's say I do save it with Elixir of Wrath and then attack out. They're going to have this the sentry blocks Battlecaster. Uh, the 3-1 blocks like Crimson Disciple, and then this 3-3 blocks this thing, and we deal 6 damage to them. And... Uh, like, that's it. I don't feel like that's really that worth it. I had one more man and I could 
also ghost that thing, but see, there we go. Good thing we waited. I'd much rather have these two cards for the, with the horns of the dragon. I just gotta hope they don't have frostbite. I want to block that thing. That thing would draw a card. I don't want them to draw any cards. Great. Would have been nice to have one more mana and deny that. So, I mean, that's 14. How are we going to get four more damage in? That's the question. Could be that. Victory requires a sharp blade. Explosives primed. I need just a moment. Dang. Basically, I have to just hope that they don't have a Frostbite card. And it's very likely that they do. Or will. We gotta play to our outs. Down to one. So close. They did have the harsh winds. You own what no. you came close. Got him down to one. So close. Um, I could have gotten one one more point of damage in earlier on in the game with, I guess it was turn three, whenever I just attacked with the, um, either turn three or turn four, whenever we had the attack token. Um, whenever I just attacked with Shadow Assassin, I did have the 2-1 I could have attacked with, right? Right? Or maybe I did attack with that 2-1. I guess I did, and then I didn't transfusion it. Or maybe that was the first game. I don't... I don't remember. Actually, maybe that was the first... Okay, never mind. I think, I'm thinking of the first game. Uh, anyway, alright, so we got Kato. A bunch of tricks. Yeah. 
Yeah, they always had it. Yeah, I, I couldn't really get the, the Crimson Disciple to do damage. The bad part about trading is that I don't get to use Zed with Transfusion. The good part is if they have, okay, I say if they had uh, the other 2 3, the 2 3 that gains, the gear gives vulnerable. Hired gun. Oh, darn. I tried being tricky there. Pass priority, they play something that... Uh, I tried being tricky. I wanted them to, to play something that couldn't block Zed profitably, and then I'd play Zed and attack with Zed. One of these things. First two things we did gauntlets. We were eliminated from the gauntlets after two games. What time is it? These last two are our meme tier decks that we're just playing in normal. We're not we're gonna be playing five games with each, we're not doing gauntlets. Trying to get as much damage as we can in with Eye of next attack turn, turn seven, Horns of the Dragon killing them. For reckoning that was no we got we got reckoning so many birds oh come on so many birds and yeah, we should still be fine I just don't get to have transfusion unfortunately They're at 13, this combo should still kill them. One shot, one kill. <laughs> Can't block this. They could have had single combat. But there we go. We were one. That would have been sad if they did have single combat because again we were one mana short from deny. That would have been like the second game in a row being one mana short of deny. I mean they couldn't kill. Oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. They were commenting for something before. Sean? Okay. So I like these cards, like I like this setup, but we're not doing anything turn one, turn two. I probably should just mulligan these and look for stuff to do at turn one, turn two. That'll do. That'll do. Hey, Blue Silver. 
Welcome from, from YouTube. My favorite competitive deck to play... Hmm. Probably the... Uh, Double Devourer gone. Probably the deck that I like to call... Um, Tough Cat Plunder. With Teemo and Sejuani. And it has Starlet Seer and... Um, the Puff Cap Peddler. Oh, I can't wait. I really like that deck. I also like uh, the Twisted Fizz deck quite a bit. Like Twisted Faith, Fizz, all that kind of stuff. Pledge yourself to the shadows. All right, all three Devour the Depths have been obliterated. So they only gain one life. Right there. Yeah, they'd have to have level up Nautilus to bring them back. But like that's something that we don't have to worry about. Like turn six, don't have to worry about playing playing around that card. My life for the order. Hmm. Try going wide. I think that's gonna be my plan is go double house spider and have transfusion available. Unfortunately, Jaw Hunters is going to be killing my Zed. Yeah, I'm not a big I'm not a big House Spider fan either. I think I'd probably rather have like Imperial Demolitionist in here. I I kind of feel like that and Green Glade duo. In, like I, I don't really like the House Spider and the Arena Battlecaster, to be honest. <clears throat> I think that's what I'd, I'd rather have: Imperial Demolitionist and uh, Green Glade duo. I think there's a better chance that those cards are going to be doing more damage. But this game. Things elusive, created by Jaw Hunters. Um, but this game, we are going to be you know, going wide, and, and the going wide is helping out. So we're looking at being able to do nine damage. Uh, do I play Battlecaster? first or just attack and do nine I play battlecaster over spiderling I mean it does it is potentially you know like seven attack they can't play devours so they can't play like I, I don't think they can really play any two for ones they just play like one blocker right 
think this is worth it. This could give me lethal if they just have one blocker. Yeah, so that, this should just be lethal now. Right? Oh, no, because they... No, because they're going to... Mm, no, not lethal. Actually, this does one, one off of lethal. How does Ghost help me win? Yeah, Ghost, Ghost doesn't work. Uh, let's see, because... Let's see, so... This thing blocks Shiraza. This thing blocks... Even if they block House Spider, we're dealing 3, 5, 8, 11. Oh, I'm like... Oh, I better attack. No. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh no. Well, I messed that up. I was just talking through it. Obviously, I should have just attacked. Uh, that wasn't good. A is a shortcut for attack? I never knew that. So you can just hit A and like everything will attack? Sting. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, you hit A. I don't know why it just they just put them out there randomly. It looks like you would think it would, they would just keep it in the same order, but no, it just ran it does random order. Yeah, the time. Yeah, I just missed. I just missed the timer because you know, we were just talking about like how much damage it could be and stuff, and I, I just missed the timer. That's my bad. I don't think so. We would have put them down to two, and I honestly don't think that we would have won. But maybe we would have. I I I highly doubt that we could have dealt two more damage with our next two draws. And with them having the you know, the life gain there, uh, with that three two. So I, I highly doubt we could have won that game, but obviously I needed to attack. So hopefully Battlecaster just trades with another two drop. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Battlecaster is for for Sh Shiraza. I'll try anyone. I guess that makes sense. It's hard to get Shiraza through. I mean, well, they they just had that elusive blocker.
Man, lots of Battlecasters. So I could have attacked for two before they played anything. But playing this, they're not going to have something that blocks both, probably. Like, we're still probably... Even if they play something that's bigger than Crimson Disciple and I don't get to attack with Disciple anymore, we would still have... We'd still attack for two, so like we, you know, we didn't actually lose out on any potential damage, but it was all, it was all upside, because if they play something like that, they can't block, then we get extra damage in with the Crimson Disciple. So all upside. Uh, yeah, today, the, the first two decks that we played, those two were Gauntlet decks. Heimer Puff Caps and Ezreal Swain. Yesterday we did Fiora alone and got there with the seven wins, and we did um, Vladimir Brom. We didn't quite get there. Those ones are up on, on YouTube. Those two from yesterday. Want to check those out? Let's just attack. This goes out as planned. They're at two. Then transfusion on the Crimson Disciple kills them. At burst speed. They also have the Noxion Fervor. Put them to negative two. And there we go. So not a not a big fan of Reckless Triparian. Seeing a card work. Just not being able to block is just too big of a downside, to be honest. But yeah, some pretty ridiculous damage there that last game. Um, but you know, that was what, turn five? And opponent didn't play a single blocker, turns one through four. Um, yeah, so there's Shiraza Dragon. Pretty sweet little deck here. Um, let's see. About it, I don't... Okay, some stuff I don't really like. As, as we talked about, I'm not a big fan of House Spider Battlecaster. Um, I guess Battlecaster does, you know, grow Shiraza and Horn of the Dragon. Um, nah, I'm still not, not a huge fan of those. I, I feel like you could get more damage in if you played, um... You know, just kind of like the the Noxus Elusive deck. You know, playing Green Glade Duo, which Green Glade Duo is a really good threat, and then also Imperial Demolitionist, always getting that two in, but then also potentially getting more. I kind of like those two drops more. Um, and then the other thing, besides that though, you know, if you want to keep those two drops, that's perfectly fine. Probably the card I like the least though is Deny. Actually, um, I would. I think I'd rather just have more pro, like more proactive cards than deny. We saw plenty of times that I just didn't have the mana for deny, or you know, like that that happened multiple times, like where I have three mana and I just couldn't wouldn't be able to cast deny, or you know, like uh, my opponent has like burst speed stuff and deny didn't do anything. I this is the card that I would honestly get out of the deck. Like I would, I would definitely get that out of here. And so other things to play besides deny, um, something. That's, and to be honest, probably Concussive Palm too. This this is kind of, this just doesn't really fit. The card that should be in here that's not in here, in my opinion, the biggest card that should be in here that's not in here is probably Twin Disciplines, right? Like you can use Twin Disciplines as protection that basically does the same thing as Deny, but you can also give plus three, plus zero. The only thing that Deny does better is against specifically the card Will of Ionia, but that's, that's honestly it. Um... I mean, I guess Vengeance too, but I think that kind of stuff. But like that stuff you don't see very often. I would get Twin Disciplines in here. You can use it as protection for Zed and, and you know, keep them alive. Or you can give the plus three, plus zero. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like some Twin Disciplines. The card's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'd recommend those and I'd recommend these for the two drops. If you don't, I could see you not wanting to play Demolitionist. I would definitely recommend Green Glade Duo though. 
Green Glade Duo is a, just a really good aggressive card. Um, definitely recommend that. Other option besides Demolitionist, though, is, is Grenadier. Like, Grenadier is, like, always trading good and doing two damage to the enemy Nexus. It's also not, a, not, like, a, not like the worst thing to use Ghost or Might on because it attacks for a lot. So maybe just, like, Green Glade Duo and Legion Grenadier. I think those would probably be stronger cards in general. So that's a couple of, a few small things that I kind of recommend. Yeah, go duo grenadier and twin disciplines help protect these things. Um, but I like it. Pretty fun little deck here. Pretty fun little deck. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments if you got other ideas for, for this kind of deck. Or if you've been, been playing it yourself, you know, feel free to uh, leave those comments. Um, yeah. But that's it here for Shiraza Dragon. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.